Hello brothers, sisters, welcome back again. Blessings, namaste, amitabha, and may peace always be with you. We are always in peace. Always. Come to this space. Observe. And you will realize that that's all there is. Come back home to your pure awareness that is just present. Remain just your pure consciousness and you will see that peace is all there is. There's nothing else other than just your peace. There's nothing else other than just pure love. Everything that is here is only pure self, pure awareness, pure observation. That's your deepest, deepest self. That is your truest, truest self. That is your spirit being present. Your spirit actually being alive. When you are in this space, you notice that everything else is like the last video I said. It's like a movie. It's just a movie. This Life and these senses are just movies. These are all just stories. You are the spectator. You are the observer. Nothing exists without you verifying that it exists. Nothing. So for anything out in the world to exist first you have to exist to verify that that exists and that is the power that you recognize that you have and everything becomes clear that everything is just a reflection of yourself everything is you everything is you you give meaning and context and everything to the story being played out in front of your senses, in front of your eyes, in front of your ears. You observe what you see. You observe what you hear. You observe what you taste and touch. There's a you to be present, to experience these senses. And that's the point that we want to be in. That's the point that we want to set in. Because in that point, you realize that you are at peace in that space. And the only time that peace isn't present there is when you're not present there. The only time that love doesn't exist is when you don't exist. When you don't exist, everything else exists. And I'm not meaning like, <laughs> you know, obviously you exist physically, but are you existing? Are you conscious that you are here? Are you present in this moment to verify who you are and what everything is? And that's why I always say suffering isn't real. Suffering is just a... Uh, another movie it's another thought another you know story that we identify with that we play in that we participate in and we give it reality and we give it meaning and you know at that point we we stop being ourselves because now we're in that suffering we're so identified with 
that pain that oh, this is me i'm feeling this i'm going through this um this remember your infinite consciousness infinite potential the divine is you it's an extension of you it's omnipresent in the creation that michelangelo depicted the painting with the two fingers it's literally a reflection of itself it's like a mirror everything out here is a mirror to you god created everything in his own image like a mirror it created the external element of reality as a mere image of himself and the same is with us we create everything in the world as a reflection of what we are it's a mere image of what we are and when you come to the point of pure presence everything becomes clear and that's the ultimate ultimate place to be i devoted myself to helping everyone that i can come to this point and this is you can say my purpose now and i will continue to do this because there's no greater importance to me than to bring people people to this place that they can find their own peace and it's kind of just returning back to your natural place before you learned every anything before you became anything you were already here you've always been here and then we go about all these other stories and you know, that's kind of how we get kind of lost in this whole matrix of the mind of I'm stressed out, I can't survive, I'm being this, I'm, you know, getting this and that and the world and I'm a victim. Who's a victim? When you're pure awareness, observing somebody in you that is supposedly being victimized <laughs> you notice how you assume position of who you think you are and then that person becomes a suffering person but re you are aware that you are aware of that person suffering so therefore you are not that person suffering you're the awareness observing that person suffering. And when all of this becomes clear and you strengthen your awareness and you strengthen your maturity to remain at peace, then true bliss and the true relaxation and bliss and love and all the like, you know, beautiful things of life start to manifest because now you are the, 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 the cup for that you are the incubation for that you are the home for that and that's the ultimate prize that's the ultimate value of this whole life and <laughs> it gets better because <laughs> once everybody recognizes each other from the space all duality fades, all separations fa fade, all the suffering, and, and really, really we get to see the utopian world, the heaven on earth. Heaven on earth is here. It's been here. So many people are living life from the space of just pure awareness, just living out their bliss, not caring about their ego mind anymore, not identifying with themselves, you know, and, and it's the other people that are still stuck in their roles, that look at these people and judge them and try to like, you know, project to them and hold them down and all that story. And maybe some people do that to you. But that's just the test for you to strengthen your awareness, for you to shine light more and for you to, you know, be that beacon. And create a YouTube channel, share, share, share. It's all about sharing yourself. <laughs> I love you guys.
this life is so beautiful it's so amazing i am always just so humbled and so filled with gratitude to connect with all of you guys and continue to live this life with authenticity and maturity and with all my heart open for you to be and hopefully in the space that you're allowed to be yourself as well and I love you guys namaste peace always be with you Om Amitabha